what you should know as a security control assessor. What you should know as a security control assessor. So a security control assessor, let's start off with the role, is someone who is independent and performs security control assessments. So a security control is something or a measure that you put in place to minimize or reduce risk. So it could be a policy, it could be a firewall, it could be antivirus, it could be IDS, IPS, it could be uh, the whole um, slew of things. So a security control assessor is someone who is going to look at those uh, policy documents, um, antivirus uh, configuration settings, screenshots. It's going to look at the documentation and say, oh, these are my observations. This control passes or this control fails. So what you need to know as a security control assessor, apart from knowing how to develop the SAP security assessment plan, uh, apart from knowing how to do security control assessments, and apart from knowing how to uh, develop a security assessment report, you need to know security controls. You definitely need to know NIST security controls. So the security controls could be found in a document called NIST 800-53, but specifically for assessors, you need to look at NIST 800-53A. This document will show you all the security control families. It's also going to show you the different security controls and what to look for in terms of those security controls. It's also going to show you the assessment method. So as an assessor, you could either test a control, uh, interview parties responsible for that control, or examine evidence provided for that control. So it is important to know the security controls. So you have different security control families like AC1, uh, AC2, um, sorry, that sec security control family itself is AC, access control, then you have sub-controls under um, that uh, control family like AC1, AC2, AC3, and uh, so on and so forth. Then you have um, another security control family called CM, con configuration management. You have um, AU, PE, there's so many controls. You have to know these controls. One, it's going to help you when you do your job. Two, uh, to get the job, they're going to ask you, um, so they could ask you randomly, okay, what is AC5? AC5 deals with separation of duties. Um, so they're going to ask you just random questions about uh, security controls. How do you assess the security controls? What types of evidence do you look for for AC6? Uh, um, so you definitely need to know these security controls. Now, what I have done to help you guys for free, I have uploaded videos with the NIST security control families. Uh, so definitely go through uh, the videos that I've posted and check out um, these controls. So you'll see um, PE control explained or AC1, AC2. Just look for those videos and watch them over and over again. I cover what the control is about, what types of evidence you need to uh, satisfy that control. So definitely um, pay attention to the security controls and make sure you know these security controls to become a successful security control assessor. So if you need more uh, information, don't hesitate to reach out to me. Uh, check out my site, www.cyberfirstacademy.com. And don't forget to subscribe and like. I have a cybersecurity course called the Security Control Assessor Course. This course trains you on how to become a security control assessor, also known as an SCA or a SCA. Now, with this training, it's going to show you 
step by step on the job training what a security control assessor does, how the security control assessor prepares for an assessment. If you don't know who a security control assessor is, a security control assessor is one who assesses security controls. Security controls are things or measures that you put in place to reduce risk to an acceptable level. So this training will show you the ins and out on how to become a uh, SCA. It also comes with a certificate of completion, um, resume, pr resume prep videos, uh, interview prep videos. It also comes with tons of resources, templates that you would use on the job. So if you are considering a career change or a field within cybersecurity that requires no technical skills and it's only about the compliance side of cybersecurity which deals with policies, procedures, and things of that nature. As a security control assessor, you're going to be looking at documentation, reviewing documentation, and writing your comments saying, hey, this passes, this fails, this is not right, uh, this is correct. Uh, so that's pretty much what a security control assessor does. You look at evidence and you determine if the evidence is satisfactory or not. And you have a cheat sheet with you to um, use as your guide. So for more information, sign up for this course and I promise you, you will not regret it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at CyberFirst Solutions. Thank you.